Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So, I have just started a new let's play. This is Call of War, just the classic Call of War, Germany. So we got Germany right now, we already have messages, let's see, UK allies, I don't know. Let's make the axis first. There we go, alright. So we'll probably be doing just a classic Germany let's play. This is not 1.5, but should still be pretty good. So, I haven't played Call of War in a, in a bit, that's for sure. And, well, we're finally here. So, we'll probably split Poland with the USSR, and then probably go over here, take out France. It looks like uh, the UK wants to be allies. We'll see about that. Uh, we, we're gonna go to research, we're gonna research better light tanks, and also better infantry. We should also build up our economy, we don't have any oil, we are actually losing oil and, and I think Hanover is the only one, the only province that makes oil. So let's at least build this up. We also don't have any food so we're gonna need to build that up as well. Yep, let's just build Vienna up. Let's uh, talk to the USSR. Alright, hopefully they will want to split Poland, they most likely will, let's be honest, let's be realistic. So our plan is literally to take out Poland, like basically do the historical route through the Benelux into France and from there on probably towards the USSR. Let's actually start building more stuff. So we are building this infrastructure. I don't think we'll need uh, to build any more stuff over here. I think full investment into light tanks probably will be the best for us. Full investment into the military. So, let's build some tanks, I guess probably a lot of infantry as well, because we don't have uh, much oil, so that could be a problem. Today we won't invade Poland, but, but tomorrow we most likely will. And let's go ahead and probably start building some stuff. We don't wanna be, you know, losing oil. That is quite bad. But we will survive, at least for now. So, you know what, let's build a couple of light tanks at least. Probably one in Berlin at least, one in Vienna as well, and probably a bunch over here. So we can blitz through France, build it in Hanover as well, there we go. And the rest can probably be infantry, there we go, let's do that. Should be kind of enough units. After all we have a huge army, which is basically all land. We have like 10 units, 10 navy units, 15, 16, 17. Out of what, 100 units basically? 99, yeah. We have like 80 land units and a lot, and a lot of them are tanks and me we have median tanks. Pretty sure no other nation has median tanks at the start. So yeah, that's pretty broken. We actually have forts over here, this is minus 55%. So we can get some of these units over here to be ready to invade the Benelux. These are anti-tank though, some of these are. We probably won't invade Luxembourg, seems like, well at least not now, seems useless. 10 units and they have 3 anti-tank for nothing, well, uh, no thank you man. He also shouldn't have anything in Verdun. Uh, level 5 force, but you usually don't, you don't have, you don't start with anything there. You, I think you start with, with 1 infantry, but that's it. So, you know, he probably won't reinforce that either. We have this already over here, this can probably break through Belgium. And if we set up more, then sh it should be easy. We may not even need to take out uh, the Netherlands, but we most likely will. Let's just get our units. And let's, let's put them somewhere over here, I guess. I think it will be nice to have the Netherlands. But still thinking about it, you know. Either we do it... Uh, yeah, we will. We will invade it. Well, we will invade it. Let's put this here. And this as well. Should be enough to take this province. And then some more over here. There we go, and they will come down here as well, should be almost enough, we will probably invade the Netherlands tomorrow, yeah, probably tomorrow. We also have the bombers, so we will use them to invade the Benelux. So we, uh, tomorrow we invade the Netherlands, and then after we're done with Poland, we redirect our forces over here to Belgium, and then we blitz through. We take out Belgium very quickly, and then we go to France, just like Hitler did. We don't have any troops here, so I hope Italy will, will join uh, the Axis. We wanna be friends with them, if possible. They uh, are not here yet. Nobody has taken Italy, not a surprise, you know. But yeah, let's actually probably spread out our troops over here. 
don't know if this is the best way. With this, you, we can we can just rush through here. With this, yeah, we need more troops over here. We won't need this much for uh, for Danzig, uh, and we won't ne need this here. Let's take this uh, light tank and put it over here. Let's also take this infantry we have over here and put it straight over here. That should be enough. We probably don't need any more units for the invasion. It should be quite easy. Seems like the Soviets aren't responding yet. France is also basically in an economic crisis right now. They're losing like 200 food per day and like 80 fuel per day I think. So more than us. Or about the same, about the same. But the food issue will be quite horrible for them. I mean we basically plan to attack them like day 3. So on day 3 I think France will basically be gone. We can redirect some of our troops over to here already from the Maginot line. There we go. Six pretty good units. We have an application. It's Spain. I don't know man. We'll see about that. I would want Italy and maybe like... Spain would be possible but maybe the UK. Doesn't need to be them but... Whatever really. Spain could be. I want Italy first. I want uh, confirmation if you will. Alright so... I'm pretty sure we should be able to fuck Poland easily. We also have uh, bombers over here, one bomber, which will be useful here. And so yeah, we, uh, tomorrow we invade Poland. If the Soviets don't respond, we'll do it alone. We also have these units over here. Let's put this over here. This will, uh, you know, we'll attack them with the artillery here. We won't engage. But here we can take these units. We won't take the entire, it's just gonna slow the whole division down. There we go, and probably take one of them. For example, let's say, let's say this one, and we'll put it over here. Actually, we don't plan to take Grodno. I usually split it over here, just like this. I don't usually take that. So let's put this over here. And uh, let's say the anti-air, and one infantry division can, uh, can guard that, while you can go over here, and same with the tank, just like that. Alright, nice. That should actually be enough. Let's set this up as well, I think. This should be easy. We should be able to break through with this over here. Let's just take one tank and put it here. And with these other ones, we'll put this right here. Or to take Krakow and go further. And this can go here. The anti-tank we have here can probably defend this. There you go, we should be ready. Well, since we're ready, we don't have anything else to do. So we'll just end it here. Italy still ain't here, so we'll just end it. Well, thank you so much for watching. This should be a pretty decent series. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. And well, thank you so much for watching. And goodbye.